Hey everybody and welcome back to Drawing with Paolo. Today, no drawing. We're going to be talking about the tools that I use to draw all these drawings you've been watching on video because a lot of my colleagues and people following me, my subscribers, have been asking what kind of tools have you been using, Paolo, to draw your drawings? And so that's what I'm going to present today. So first things first, you know, uh, we need a nice drawing surface and so this is the uh, book that I use. It's called a Fabriano uh, Sketchbook. It's just that, a sketchbook. And what I like about this sketchbook in particular, it's the, um, the paper quality that, that I get. It's a nice uh, soft paper. It's not very textured, which doesn't ruin my uh, nibs so much when I draw. If you have a really textured piece of paper, it ends up ruining your, your, your graphite uh, very quickly. You end up having to change them frequently. So with this texture, it works out pretty good. So, you know, multiple pages and um, this is where I draw all my content and it's a really good paper for it. I have lots of pages in this and most of these drawings have been done in here. It's a good size as well. Uh, the size of this, uh, I've been asked about book size as well and my sketchbook here is 9 inches by 12 inches. That's a pretty good size drawing. There's a, there are bigger books out there, but uh, I like this size. It's pretty manual. And in centimeters, it is a 23 by 30.5. And then, of course, there's my pencil. So this is my BIC uh, 0.7 millimeter pencil. It's a mechanical pencil. You push down on the top and the, uh, the uh, lead comes out. And the reason why I like this is that I don't need to, uh, to sharpen the edge. See, I got the little, uh, little lead comes out of the end. And you can make really thin lines. You can make thicker lines just by pro uh, applying more pressure. And so this is the example I can give you here. So um, I'll find a blank page here. Uh, let's use this one. And so I can make some really, really thin strokes. So like by applying little pressure, I can make really uh, thin strokes like this or apply more pressure. And, and I don't need to sharpen it. That's what's cool. I just need to press down on the button and I get more lead just like that. And then I can push it back in and therefore putting, pulling out the size that I need. And then I can apply more pressure on the pencil and make a really dark line. So the contrast of the light line and dark line is awesome with these mechanical pencils. And they're very inexpensive to use. So it's a Bic uh, pencil number two, 0 0.7 millimeters, one of my favorite pencils. You can use any pencil kind that you like, any mechanical pencil, any pencil really. I like these ones. And the reason why I like these ones too is that all I need to do is remove the eraser back here and then put the lead inside there and it's really, really simple. So one of my favorite pencils to use. We'll move this out of the way here for a second. The next tool I like to use, of course, is my white eraser. I think white erasers do a great job, uh, much better than the pink ones. Pink ones tend to mess up my page a little bit. These ones erase awesome for big details. So that's what I like to use, the white eraser. And for little details, I use this. This is the, it's like a pencil crayon, and I got a, the, the, the uh, eraser comes out just like this by applying pressure at the end, and it comes out as far as I want, push it back in and I can make really small detail erases that way. And the refill comes in this size like that. So this is the refill for it. You can buy refills individually and just push them in the pen like that and use them any which way I like. So all these things combined make the tools that I use to uh, make Drawing with Paolo. And I hope you have your own. Have a lot of fun drawing with this stuff and we'll see you next time on another episode of Drawing with Paolo.